Elon Musk posted on X, formerly Twitter, quote, my guess is that Vivek will far exceed the polls when the votes are counted. And you know what? Vivek Ramswamy joins us right now here in Des Moines live, along with his wife, Dr. Apoorva Ramswamy. Great to have you both. It's good to see you. All right, let's start with the tough question. How many pizza ranches have you been to? We have done over 390 total <laughs> events. A majority of them, or a good number of them, at pizza ranches. And see, that's more than all of the other candidates combined and more than any candidate in history. And I'm hopeful that Iowans reward hard work. I think they do. Hello, family. Welcome back to another episode of Journey to Harmony. I'm your host, Richard Harmon. Today, we want to come to you and bring you an update on the Vivek Ramaswamy, Donald Trump, a um, little bit of a tussle. Um, so we all know that to this point, Donald Trump and Vivek Ramaswamy have been mostly in lockstep throughout the campaign trail. Uh, Vivek has supported Trump throughout his particular time, and he has stated on multiple occasions that Donald Trump was one of the best, can was likely the best president that we have seen in the 21st century. Um, so all things have been going well up until recently this past week. Um, Vivek Ramaswamy had an event, a uh, town hall meeting that he was hosting, and some young men who were at in attendance showed up. And when they showed up, they had a picture of Donald Trump's face and the, 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 the shirts. It was about six or seven of them I have on the screen now. They had a picture um, saying that save Trump, vote for Vec. And I'm sure Donald Trump didn't take this very well. So he went out on True Social and he went after uh, Vivek saying that he's a fraud and, and he is not really in support of MAGA country and then things of that nature. So Vivek has been in this place where he's looking to respond and to, to keep things in a cordial manner, uh, just speaking to a bit of Trump. But um, it's been interesting just watching the two of them. They're very, both very similar, um, very strong willed. Many people have stated that they don't really trust Vivek. Many people have also stated that they, you know, can't really stand Donald Trump. So it's it's a it's an in interesting um, back and forth between the two. They're both very brash. They're both very confident in the way that they carry themselves and continue to show why it is that people love them to the point that they love them. While other people may have voters that support them, these these two candidates have have almost cult followings of people who are dedicated 100% to the calling, which it is that they, they do. Donald Trump has been fierce in its opposition to the mainstream media, to, to MS, MSM and all of these other um, people of the like, talking about the swamp. And Vivek has been able to, to articulate a lot of his ideas in a similar manner where he's carrying out a lot of the same things that Trump is uh is championing but also just stating it that he is a younger version of him i'm going to play a video here we'll watch a little bit of this uh, response from vivek at his town hall at his uh meeting at F with fox news we'll come back and talk about it after that if your first time joining please hit that like button consider subscribing to the channel and here we go why do you think uh former president trump threw you under the bus over the weekend well, I, I didn't get thrown anywhere, but I think there might have been an attempt to do that. I'd say that it's partly because of what it was, Elon, you were under the bus. Well, look, I'd say what and, Elon and Musk and others say. Well, the bus had it. snow tires on it. Well, I'll, I'll tell you this is, is you know, I'll, I'll, I took it in a, in a lighthearted way. But the truth is people have to have their head stuck in the snow not to see what's happening on the ground here. I know the mainstream media is ignoring it, but there has been a massive surge here late in the process. Mm -hmm. A number of endorsers who are widely expected to go to Donald Trump, legends in Iowa, like former Congressman Steve King, mm -hmm. widely expected to go for Trump, came for me. A number of the strongest constitutionalist conservatives have switched from the other candidates in the last 72 hours to me. Steve Holt came from Ron DeSantis. Right. And so I think people who are actually on the ground are not blind to that reality. And right. I think the mainstream media, largely for better or worse, has been, which means I think we're going to see a shock tonight. And, and Dr. Apoorva, uh, Rim Swami, one of the things about the Iowa caucus is there's no early voting. So it's not like people have already voted. They're going to go to a high school gym or something like that tonight at seven o'clock, and they're going to decide. They're going to write the, the name down. And as we've heard, there are a number, and it's not a gigantic number, but there's still a significant number of people who are undecided. Yeah. And so that's why a late surge is really good for you. If you're going to surge in a campaign, you want to do it on Election Day, Caucus Day, in this case. Exactly, exactly. You, we have people who, despite this cold, are going to be coming out because they are so passionate about this cause. They have been campaigning all this whole process, and especially now, they work so hard all the way late into the night. As many campaign events as we do, we have a staff and a volunteer base who have been working just as hard. And that really speaks to how passionate people are about Vivek's message. If you want somebody who's actually gonna get in there, fight the corruption, and speak truth to power, 
then vote for the one candidate who is speaking the truth to you. And there's a reason I'm the only candidate in this race who's able to say I'll strip vaccine manufacturers of special liability exemptions, or that I'll pardon peaceful J6 protesters on day one, or that I'm against the CO2 pipeline making its way across the state. And the reason is every other candidate is dancing to the tune of their biggest donors. And in my case, my biggest donor is me. And that's what it's gonna take to actually shut down the deep state this time. Not just to talk about it, but actually to do it. And so if you want somebody who's going to shut down that deep state and revive our national identity for the next generation of Americans, then I think it's going to take the next generation of leadership to do it. And I'm asking you to brave the cold and to caucus for me tonight and to save this country. And we are so grateful for this process. All right. Perfect. So there it is. You hear it there. Um, Vivek Ramaswamy has been an absolute uh game changer for the most part i know the media is not covering him as much as their cutter covering likely nikki nikki haley um but he is has been on every podcast he has been at every uh meeting he has taken every single interview of anyone who was interested in speaking with him and he has kind of willed himself into the national conversation in a way that many people are just not gifted enough to do um i think what a lot of people like about barack obama in the in time past was that he was able to be a great orator um was able to convey his messages in a way that was relatable um to those who are as young as 13 years old to also to those who are as old as you know in their 80s or 90s as such and his his overall grasp and depth of knowledge is shown many times as he speaks to people um, on a wide variety of topics. I've been um, pleasantly surprised many different times where he's talked about things where I did not, um, you know, expect him to be knowledgeable about. It seems that he continues to read and to, to devour information on a constant basis. Um, this is going to be an interesting process right now. I think the shots have been fired from the Trump campaign, and it'll be interesting to see what Trump does. Um, many times, you know, President Trump can be a lot of things but sometimes compulsive and you know it, it's right now it's a time for to be strategic in in defeating your enemy you know if you have considered and say that those who are um working against you are are playing by unfair rules um it's wise for you to find a way to to gain a a, a base and a, a a team that is wise and so in the same way for us as as people um not everyone is going to be your best friend not everyone is going to be someone that you agree with on every single topic, but there are strengths and there are um, advantages to having different people around you. Um, this next few weeks are going to be very interesting as we watch these candidates look to to win the hearts over of many people. And we'll see how this turns out. What are your thoughts on this Trump uh, Vivek situation? Do you think that Trump was wrong for the way that he spoke with Vivek? Do you, what are your thoughts on Vivek and his chances of um, doing well in the Iowa caucus? Uh, comment below, like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much for joining. Have a good day.